we know that Maharshi Vedavyas has written the Mahabharat. But very few people know that when Vedavyas was narrating, Ganpati was writing the Mahabharat for him. But he understood that it is not possible for him to sit down all by himself and recollect all his life experience and write it. But among all the gods, he couldn't find anyone who could write this. So Vedavyas went to Brahmadev. And he told Brahmadev, My God of God, I have decided to write a Mahabharat based on the life experience. But it is not possible for me to understand every shloka and write its meaning all by myself. So I need a writer who would be able to understand the meaning of every shloka I say and write it down. Hearing this, Ramadev told Maharshi, Hey Mahamuni, your idea to write the Mahabharat is really good. I am very sure that you will finish this good work very soon. And no one is more capable to write this other than Shiva's own son, Ganesh. That's why Get Ganesh ready for this work as soon as possible. Hearing Brahmadev's answer, Maharshi Vyas went to Ganesh and requested Ganesh. Hey Ganesh, I have come to you because Brahmadev has sent me to you. It is my wish that you will help me in writing my Mahabharat. Hearing this, Ganesh told him, Hey Maharshi, I shall fulfill your wish, but I have a condition. So Maharshi asked, What is it? So Ganesh replied, When I am writing, you must be continuously narrating. If you stop in between, I will lose my concentration. Likewise, I will not like any kind of waste of time. If I lose my concentration, I would not be able to bring a continuity. Only if you can narrate continuously, without stopping, I can be your writer. Maharshi Vyas accepted this condition and said, Hey Vignahata, I accept this condition. But unless understanding whatever I say, you will not write. It is very important to understand every shloka and then write it down. It is not appropriate and possible to write even a single sentence without understanding. Ganesh also agreed to what Maharshi had to say. Hence Maharshi Vyas started narrating the story. After every shlo, Ved Vyas used to narrate a parable and Ganesh used to write it down. While narrating the Mahabharat, Ved Vyas realized that Ganesha understood the meaning of the shlokas and wrote them very fast. 
So Vedavya started telling him more difficult shlokas with very deep meaning. So it took Ganesh more time to understand them and write it. In the meantime, Maharshi Vyas used to write new shlokas and keep them ready. In this manner, Mahabharat was smoothly completed and even today we can take its pleasure.